Farmer's Market Quest. I'm Tanya and behind the camera is Morgan. We're on a quest to find the best farmer's market. Today we're in Eugene, Oregon at the Lane County Farmer's Market. Can't wait to find some unique items and show you what we get. Let's go check it out. Lane County extends from the Pacific Ocean to the Cascade Mountains with the Willamette, McKenzie, and Suslaw Rivers running through it. Eugene is often called the Emerald City for its lush green environment as well as focus on maintaining an environmentally green town. It is consistently ranked one of the best places to live in the U.S. This Saturday market located in downtown Eugene is near the University of Oregon and tons of boutiques and restaurants. The Lane County Farmers Market spans both sides of two city blocks, which closes to traffic during the market. Its location on 8th and Oak Street first opened in 1915 as the Eugene Producers Market and today has dozens of vendors, all of whom grow or produce goods in Oregon. At the market, we spotted peppers in all the colors of the rainbow. Fresh peppers are an excellent source of vitamin A, C, and potassium. There were grapes and berries and root vegetables such as carrots, ginger, onion, and potatoes. This is one of the most beautiful markets I've been to. So many vendors take great care in the setup of each of their individual booths with baskets and well-planned out organized vegetables and fruit. There's a lot to be said about the simple beauty that one can see in all of the fruits and vegetables that are laid out here. Squash and mushrooms, leeks and herbs. late season blueberries, and these baskets contain the hibiscus fruit. The Lane County Farmer's Market has several grass-fed meat purveyors, as well as fresh fish. From bacon to fillets to crabs to bison, you can easily find something delicious to barbecue for dinner tonight. On the day we were here, one vendor had fired up a chili roasting drum which rotates slowly so that all the peppers are evenly roasted. It's really common in the southwest, New Mexico, southern Colorado, even Texas. These bags to sweat, that further loosens the skin, so when you get them home, they begin to slide right off. Or if you want to save them for later, we can put them in freezer bags. There were several varieties of cheese, and more cheese, and even more cheese, which would pair wonderfully with the local wines. Scrumptious pastries and cupcakes, sauces, salsas, honeys, and flavorful juices. And you haven't had pesto until you've had farm fresh. We love all the varieties of black popcorn, which has a crunchy, nutty flavor, a must have for popcorn lovers. Oh, and how the cozy smell of fresh baked bread and sweet flowers filled the streets. We've seen lots of plants at markets before, but this was our first time spotting bonsai at a market. Hey, we've been here at the Lane County Farmer's Market in Eugene, Oregon. This market is beautiful. The vendors take great care in setting up all of their booths. Today what we got for snacks, some cherry tomatoes and late season blueberries. They're gonna go perfect with our breakfast pastry. We also picked up some Dakota Black kettle corn. It's going to make it crispier than a regular popcorn kernel. Also picked up Jeff's rolled oats. These are organic oats. And some blackberry bee pollen to sprinkle on them. Bee pollen is great if you have allergies. Very excited to share with you. We picked up this little cheesecake. The ingredients that go into this cheesecake are made from six different farms that are all in this local area. The vendor was so sweet to talk to and we learned a lot about the local farms and how the cool climate here really aids in the growth of so much produce. When you're in Eugene, Oregon, you definitely need to check out the Lane County Farmer's Market on Saturday mornings. 
Okay, Tanya, you know what time it is. Let's, Let's buzz, buzz about, about it. it. We're here in Eugene, Oregon. This is just steps away from where the Lane County Farmer's Market is held every Saturday. I love this market. It was so pretty. Yeah. Really a traditional farmer's market. You found there what you would find grown and raised on a farm. You didn't find food trucks or arts and crafts vendors, which we really liked, but they weren't there. This was a great market though. It was an opportunity to use all of your senses from smell to sight to the just vibe of the whole market. Yeah. It really was a place to stroll slowly and enjoy your Saturday morning. Absolutely. There were two things that didn't fall into the category of raised on a farm, and that was the guitar player, singer, songwriters at the ends of both markets that I really liked. It added a really cool vibe to the market. I think a lot of people really liked that music. Next time you're in Eugene, Oregon, you should check out the Lane County Farmer's Market. Have fun. Thanks. Hi there. Hey. Tanya. We're good. Do you know where we are? <laughs> la, 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 la. La, la, la. We're going to nail this one. Yeah. Oh. It, this was a really traditional. Why did I? Let's do the. That was kind of, wait. We are, we're not off to a good start on this one. And it's only steps from the farmer's market. A lot of steps, but it is very close by. It's just over. Maybe a bridge. He just wishes there was a food, food trucks and some arts and crafts. I just wanted a breakfast burrito and it wasn't there. And other vendors? <laughs> yep, he's right. There was a lot of other vendors. <laughs> okay, here we go. Take 30. Now it takes a lot of takes. Yeah, it's right on the river. You have to get a boat. But once you're there, they give you a fishing pole and you can try to catch the things that you would have bought at the other market in Lane County. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting goofy. <laughs>